This is Justin from the J Media, back with another video. So today I'll be hanging out with my friend Anna. Haven't saw her for quite a while. Um, she is needing help with a project and she's a conference. So we'll be snapping some photos for her school project. Uh, she'll be needing to borrow my camera. So besides my vlog camera, I'll be taking along my, uh, I guess you could call it my photography camera. I'll be letting her use that. So I'll be doing a little behind the scenes. Um, we're gonna go grab some food as well. So. Uh, both me and Anna love Japanese food. Probably gonna hit up a sushi spot. Um, and she says she's taking her S2000 here. So always a fun time riding along in S2K. And here's my camera setup. I actually used a vlog on this setup. Um, this is a Nikon D5300. I had a microphone. I also switched out the lens. Right now I'm using a 50 millimeter lens with a CPL filter. I also will be bringing along my other lens, my kit lens, just in case as well. And I'm in here in the S2000. I know she says it's dirty. She hasn't washed it for a while. So we're in Anna's S2000. Cool Uber ride. I'll give you five stars. <laughs> but yeah, like I say, it's been a while since I rode in her S2000. And I forgot that everywhere you go, you have to wear these harnesses because she doesn't have normal seat belts. So race car life everywhere. I don't know how she dailies this thing in the past. I don't know how. How long do you daily this car for? Oh, like two years. Dang. <laughs> it's loud. It's, like I said, bucket seats as well as harnesses. What? Well, I, I want to say the longest I've sat in this car, I think it was like one year at HIN, like after HIN. For some reason, I think it was like St. Marcus, Austin, Austin to St. Marcus, and I was riding in this car for maybe like an hour or so. I don't know. The bucket seats just kill me long distance. <laughs> just made it over here to South Congress so if you guys are here from Austin you would know that South Congress is pretty close to downtown so in the distance you can see like the I guess the skyscrapers um, it's a really I don't know how to describe it it's just a stretch of road that has like restaurants and bars and pretty like artsy stuff you can see murals a bunch of cool stuff here so we just made it here to South Congress and it's S2000 if you guys missed it but yeah, we're gonna go eat at Lucky Robot, which is a sushi place right over there. So we just got here, the Lucky Robot, really cool. When's the last time you've been here? Uh, it was like winter actually. Win I came back here in like December or something like that. It's been years since I've been in here. That's super cool. He just poured water and this thing like magically rises. That's pretty awesome. Is this a thing in Japan? Yeah, actually a lot of places in Japan have this. What's it called? I have no idea. <laughs> the magic rising towel, I guess that's what we'll, what we'll call it. <laughs> so looking through the menu, we're gonna order some rolls as well as probably some karage to share and some Japanese alcohol. So like sake, we're thinking of sake bombs. And I order her beer. And then we're gonna order some sake as well. What beer do you get? Um, it's called Hitochino. It's like a small Japanese brewery there. Cool. I've never seen that before. I only know like Sapporo, Ichiban, like this. It's pretty Kirin, you know, all those yeah. standard brands. And this guy over here is for, oh, it's cold. I was thinking warm. <laughs> for you to clean your hand. So we order a bunch of food and drinks. Right now we're just waiting and we're trying to capture, I hope the camera captures this, but you can see all those like fake cherry blossoms and then like cool LED lights as well as cool murals. Chicken karage for you. Ooh, this is a fried chicken you. with our ponzu and purple onion. And I'm tasting the sake. So it's our first time trying this sake. I don't know what this is, but we're trying it for the first time as well. So we want to do sake bomb, which is dropping the sake inside the beer, but not working. How is it? <laughs> So let's uh, let's go for it, I guess. Your face doesn't look convincing. <laughs> You're like, <"Ugh."> <laughs> <laughs> thank you. We have the kanjo sarashi on this side, spiced mayo and sriracha on this side. Okay, wow. thank you. Enjoy. Why is this not taking pictures? <laughs> okay. 
one. So we ordered three rolls and I was gonna try this one out first. The oh, more rolls. Beef rolls, the crispy shallots, and cobbles on the side. Thank you. Okay. It comes with a spicy mayo and sriracha like mixed in. For you guys watching in Asia, this place is an Americanized Japanese food. So don't, don't hate if you're wondering why it says sriracha on your on the uh, rolls. How's it? Was it atomic something? Mm? Which one was this? Mm. Crunchy salmon roll. Crunchy salmon roll. And then this one's Ardu D2 that just came in. Mm. And I got the fancy stuff. What is this? This one's sake, sake toto, I believe, but she also. The sake in it? <laughs> sake is like the word for salmon. Oh, never mind. In like Japanese cuisine. So Anna knows her Japanese because she studies Japanese and have been to Japan. So. And then the toto means like that it's like fat salmon. So just sake is regular salmon, but sake toto is like. Fatty salmon. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, fancy. This is my sake toto, which it looks like they put garlic on it, which is like my favorite thing with sashimi. They actually didn't do that in Japan. They didn't put garlic on their sashimi. Is it American thing? I guess so, because like I've only had it this way in America. So. Fancy, fancy. All right, we're gonna toast. So in Japan, they say kanpai, right? Kanpai. Kanpai. And now snapping photos. <laughs> Keep doing you. <laughs> Keep doing I'm you. For them to do something cute again, they just picked up their phones. So. Basically, I guess this is a little behind the scenes. Anna is trying to shoot some photos for a project and she actually just ordered the exact same camera that she's using right now, which I have, which is the Nikon D5300. So I thought she could have bought it first before she bought it, but um, yeah, we're just being a little creepy out here. <laughs> yeah, literally. We're just enjoying our Japanese food. I feel like a big amount of time whenever we hang out, we get Japanese food, right? I think. It's true. Asian food has been like our biggest cuisine. <laughs> I can't say no to sushi. <laughs> Next spot. So we've been walking for a little while, snapping photos. Anna got some pretty good photos? I did. I did. So right now we're at this next spot. And yeah, she might get some beer. Maybe? Hell yeah. <laughs> Anna's going around shooting photos. Cool artsy spot. And I got another beer. What beer did you get you? What beer is this? Honestly, she told me that it would be good and I have no idea what it is. Something on the menu. Uh, ooh, ooh, the oh, Kosh. Oh, cool. Yep. Made of Fredericksburg, Texas. I love it. Oh, it's so zoomed in. I got it like back to
right, we're back to Anna's S2000. Here, I hand you off your bag. I'm trusting <sighs> you. So Anna's gonna let me drive the S2000. So, yeah, I haven't driven her S2000 in quite a while, like over a year. And, and it was your birthday. It was my birthday, and I was really, really rough because I haven't driven stick in a few years. So now I think I have a little bit more practice. She'll GPS me back. Hopefully, fingers crossed, everything goes good. <laughs> Otherwise, I gotta buy her a new S2000. <laughs> Just put it in? Yeah, switch it to the back. Okay. You should be able to get it if you did it. Yeah. And then the plastic. Alright, so how do I start this S2000? Foot on the clutch, turn it, and then push the start. Hey, I got it! Awesome, awesome. So now. We have to complete this five minute process of putting on these harnesses and adjusting my seat because Anna's 5'4". So just made it back home. Again, big thank you to Anna for letting me drive the S2000. So, like I said, I wouldn't really count me driving it, but I kind of drove it about a slightly over a year back when I was really rusty. This time was an actual like, I think like good 10, 15 minutes driving it on the street as well as on the highway. So, it's very, very different from my FG2 Civic SI. I have to say, throws are much, much shorter. Um, obviously this car is super ref happy, it has a stay shoe clutch versus my uh, SI has a stock clutch but I could see you know I can see myself in this car as well as I can see why people say this car feels like a go-kart when you turn it's super responsive it's super light it's, it just goes everywhere you want it to just like a golf cart go-kart um, yeah I mean Anna has the car for how many years? Probably for like over three years now like three and a half maybe three and a half years and got it stock it's uh it's been a long way but always the whole time it's been very like sensitive from the beginning it's just i guess the way that the s2000 is man i want an s2000 <laughs> i know you guys have been hearing this for quite a while i've been talking about an s2000 for one or two years mark my words i will get an s2000 you guys hear it here first i'm just really really picky and i have i guess called other priorities that i have to you know do first but I want to do a full beyond an S2000 and um, again, big thank you to Anna for letting me drive it. Um, yeah, hopefully in the near, eh, not quite near future, but in the future, we'll have an S2000 in the garage. Again, I'm going to end the video here. Again, if you like it, leave a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe and notification bell. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.